why you should use hiking poles. Hi, my name is Doug. I've been a physical therapist for 30 years and I specialize in helping people with balance problems learn to walk again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use hiking poles. Hiking poles or trekking poles are great at helping you walk more smoothly and helping you walk further. When you use hiking poles, you want to alternate the pole. So when your right pole comes forward, your left leg should come forward. The hiking pole should always be used opposite the leg that's moving forward. This will provide the greatest stability. When you're walking with hiking poles, you don't really want to force the poles to come forward. You want to try to let them swing almost naturally. Think of the poles as an extension of your arm. So when you move your right leg forward, your left pole should just swing forward, just like your arm swings forward when you're normally walking. What hiking poles do is give you another point of contact with the ground while you're walking. So normally when you walk, you have two points of contact, your right and left leg. But with the hiking pole, now you have four points of contact. So anytime one of your legs is off the ground, there's actually two things on the ground providing you stability. One of the most popular misconceptions is that when you walk with hiking poles, it slows you down. I hear this about walkers and canes as well. People say, oh, I don't want to use a cane or walker because I'm afraid it'll slow me down. Based on my own experience with hiking poles and trekking poles and based on a lot of the research, it actually has the opposite effect. People that have trouble with their balance that use a hiking pole or trekking pole, they actually walk faster. And the reason is really simple. They feel more steady. When you feel steady, you can increase your pace. So there is no basis to the belief that using hiking poles or trekking poles slow you down. In fact, the same is true for canes or walkers. They don't inherently slow you down. They actually make you feel more stable and you potentially can walk faster. But it is true that people that want to use a walker or cane tend to have more trouble with their walking, so they might be walking slower than the average person. But if you want a way to increase how far you're walking, I really recommend a trekking pole or hiking pole. Now, when you use these, you don't want to use one that has a curved base. I know that they sell some that, are, that have a curved base, and the idea is that you walk with the, with the trekking pole almost dragging behind you. Many studies have shown that this is a bad thing to do, that it tends to make people lean forward more, which is what you don't want. You want to be standing up as straight as possible with the canes or the, the walking poles almost out in front of you as you're walking. The big thing is just to remember to alternate. So whenever your right leg is forward, the left hiking pole has to be on the ground. When your opposite leg is forward, your right hiking pole is on the ground. You want to make sure that you alternate as you use these. But what you'll notice pretty quickly is that it really does make you feel more stable and the added benefit is because the hiking pole is like an extension of your arm, you'll be able to take a longer stride length than you normally do and you won't feel unsteady. And that's really why hiking poles improve your balance and your walking is because they actually make you feel more stable as you're walking forward. I hope you found this video helpful. Click the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this.